Look, if you're in sales, any kind of sales, one of the most common question that you probably have within your own mind is, how do I attract, how do I recruit, how do I hire the best sales people, the best sales leaders in my organization? Look, I have been an entrepreneur being in sales for over 28 years. I work as a salesperson, I became a sales leader, and ultimately I mastered the fundamentals of closing deals, handle objections, I made a great living by just simply selling. And then eventually I had to learn how to develop other sales leaders to replace what I do so I can get onto another level where I can mentor, coach, uh, direct, uh, challenge, other people to elevate to the same success level that I experienced, right? So there is not a time that I remember that people don't ask me this same question all the time. Well, how do I recruit? How do I hire the best salespeople? Well, first you have to define what is the best salespeople, best sales leaders in your eyes, in your heart first, right? Because I hear people all the time, the best salespeople are the people who can close any deal anytime. You know, I hear such statements saying, you know what, that person can sell ice cream to Eskimo. You know, oh, that person can sell uh, a cape to, to, to Superman, right? So, so things like, like that nature, oh, he can sell anything to anybody. Just give him a product. Look, that is not the best salespeople in my eyes. Let me tell you, if you want to recruit and train and retain the best salespeople in your organization, that is ultimately going to add a lot of value and productivity and growth in your organization. I'll tell you there are certain qualities you're looking for. It's all about qualities, right? There are many different qualities a great salesperson possess, but I'll give you two must great qualities they got to possess at the beginning of everything, right? Can any one of you guess what those two best qualities that they must possess at the beginning. Think about that. Write it down. Post a comment right now. You got those two? Let me tell you what are those two for me. Number one, work ethic. Consistent work ethic. Number two, audacity. That's it. The best salespeople, if they possess those two qualities, consistent work ethic, and audacity, the remaining qualities can be developed, right? Let me explain. So if you're in sales, I'm talking about salespeople, right? You know sales are not logical. You can work 12 hours a day straight for two weeks. You might not be able to close a sale, whether it's, I don't know, real estate or mortgage or, you know, uh, even maybe selling car, uh, life insurance policies or whatever you're selling or maybe mentorship course, whatever that might be, right? You work straight for 14 days and you made zero sell, zero deal being closed, right? And a lot of people will give up because, oh my God, I'm putting some hours in and 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 and, and, and it's not working out the way I'm looking for. This is not, 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 not be me. Look, sales are not logical, okay? It's not logical. You can work 14 hours straight 14 days in a row, you close no sale. But on the 15th day, bingo. You walk in the client's house, you close four deals. Bingo. You made $28,000 commission because that day you target the right audience, the right client that needs your product, and you were on point that day. You were actually at your A game for whatever reason. Bingo. That's not logical. But it requires you to constantly put in lots of hours. 10 hours, 8 hours, 14 hours consistently, meaning you're not afraid to put the hours in to eventually get the result that you're looking for. And you are patiently but aggressively keep doing the fundamentals until you close some deals to make the amount of money that you need to provide for your own family as well. Does it make sense? That requires consistent work ethic. If you don't have consistent work ethic, one day you go to fish, second day you take a rest, Third day, you take a, a, a go to fish. Four, fifth, six, seven, eight day, you take, you take a rest. You're not gonna make it in sales. So number one quality goes to consistent work ethic. Now the second quality obviously is audacity. What is audacity? How thick is your skin? How thick is your skin? If you are someone that doesn't take rejections uh, easily, if you take all the rejections, all the no, 
all the shutdown, all the bullet firing, firing at you personally, you take it that personally, most likely you're gonna quit sales because you don't like people to say no to you. You don't like people to say maybe to you. You really think people say no to you and, 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 and because they don't like you and you start to take it personally, so your skin is actually very thin. If you have a thin skin, you gotta start to develop a thicker skin, meaning don't take things personal. People has their own timing. People has their own issue. Sometimes they say no to you, not because you know they don't wanna buy from you. Maybe timing is off. And they say no to you, I'll tell you, being in sales for 28 years, most people are very nice. It's not they dislike you, it's just because maybe, you know, they don't need your product right now. Maybe you didn't do a great presentation for, for them to feel the value of this product that they must buy right now. That takes audacity. If you have a sales leader, a salesperson in your company, in your office, that has audacity and consistent work ethic, both of them, guess what? You have a winner in my eyes. You got a winner in your organization. In my eye, that's a great salesperson because eventually, even though they're moving a little bit slow, they got audacity, they're working hard, guess what? They eventually would develop other qualities such as what? The ability to read other customers and ability to uh, learn how to do an effective presentation, learning how to handle objections. Eventually, they build up their own confidence. But without audacity and consistent work ethic, the remaining qualities would not come along the way. So, for all of you who's in sales, for all of you who's in sales and also try to build up your own sales agency, listen to this video, video watch this video closely, because if you focusing on hiring and recruiting salespeople who got those two qualities, I promise you, they will become better eventually one day. And ultimately one day they're gonna become great. And they're gonna attract the other salespeople as well and they go through the same cycle and same process. Now you're gonna have a solid sales organization underneath your belt and you can really run through a lot of wars and conquer lots and lots of obstacles out there and be able to provide a lot of value to your customers. But qualities are work ethic and audacity. If you agree or disagree, post a comment below and share this video to anyone who's in sales or anyone who want to build a great sales agency, a great sales company. JW here and see you next time. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.